I have good news concerning future interest rates. After the last Federal Reserve meeting, the Fed announced that they would probably do one more rate hike before the end of the year. Then the residential mortgage market responded by raising rates right after that announcement. Reuters reported on Monday that top Federal Reserve officials indicated that the rising yield on long-term U.S. Treasury bonds could steer the Fed from further increases. That means the mortgage market raised interest rates on its own, so the Fed does not have to increase rates again. The Fed chairman, Philip Jefferson, said that they are balancing the risk of not tightening enough and being too restrictive. The Fed says they do not want to do any more harm to the economy than they have to. The National Association of Realtors, the Home Builders, and the Mortgage Bankers Association all got together and penned a letter to the Fed chairman telling him that the interest rate increases have exasperated housing affordability and created additional disruption for a real estate market that's already straining to adjust to the dramatic pullback in both mortgage originating and home, home sale volume. They went on to say that further rate increases pose a widespread risk to economic growth and increase the likelihood of a recession. Real estate makes up 16% of the U.S. economy, so further rate increases will create a hard landing rather than the soft landing that the Fed has been hoping for. Uh, the National Association Chief Economist Lawrence Yun said, the fast rising interest rates are breaking several sectors of the economy. The remaining sectors will also likely crack if the rate hikes continue. Given that inflation is already cooling, the Fed needs to stop raising rates and strongly consider cutting interest rates next year. That would be the soft landing without the net job cut to the economy. Basically, there's a decent chance that we may have seen our last interest rate hike in 2023. The other bit of good news is that late fall is a great time to buy a home for a little less. Even though the interest rates are high right now, when rates go down next year, that pinup demand of home buyers from this year, they'll all hit the market, making people have to pay more for a home in order to get an accepted contract. So when rates go down, if you've already purchased, you can refinance after having paid a lower price for a home than if you wait for rates to, to, to go down again. So click on the link below to search for your next Chattanooga area home.